Alan, it's Homebrew, coming at you with a beer review. I've got a beer I've been wanting to drink since I think end of November, uh, last December. I got it from Nathan Ulay. that's right. Good old Nate, and then a beer trade, and, and I'm excited to try this. Been wanting to save it and do it with Christian, and, and the timing has just never worked, and he has a new job and things, so, oh well, you snooze, you lose. And here it is, Backwoods Bastard. That's right, I've been wanting to try Backwoods Bastard for years and years. Unfortunately, I got four bottles from Nate. Thank you, thank you. This is a big Scotch ale. This is supposed to be one of the most fabulous Scotch ales. <laughs> I think it's more famous than any Scottish Scotch ales. And uh, it is from Founders Brewing out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is barrel aged in single malt Scotch barrels. I mean, how is that <laughs> for Scotch? <laughs> this is supposed to be fantastic. It is 10.2% ABV and 50 IBUs. We are going to get this sucker cracked open because I can't wait any longer. I really wanted to taste this fresh. Uh, so for, for disclosure purposes, it is May. It's May, I believe, the 11th. It's Mother's Day. And we've done our Mother's Day celebrations. And now I'm doing a beer. All right. Take a peek at that. That's a very dark brown. It really is. It's not super dark, but it's kind of like a mahogany brown. It's pretty dark. It's a very thin head on there. That's not a big surprise at 10.2% ABV. Let's get a nose. Woohoo! There's, <laughs> there's no mistaking that this was aged on oak. You definitely get the oak. You get some of that single malt scotch right away. You definitely pick that up. But wow, you get some other stuff. I get some light, uh, uh, dark fruits. I get some raisin. I would say that uh, maybe a hint of plum, kind of date. Uh, and I think I got some cherry. Ooh, yeah, you know, and it's not like a super strong dark fruits, but they are definitely there. There's no mistaking it. But a lot of really nice raisin and definitely some good date on that. Like I said, it was like a hint of like a dark cherry going on there. Oh, caramel. There's car caramel and there's some toffee, a little bit of toffee notes on there as well. You know it's like a sweet malt aroma on it. Vanilla. That's it. That's what I was trying to pick up. I got some vanilla in there. So you're getting the booze, you're getting that scotch, and, and you're getting the oak and the vanilla and all of that goodness. It just, it smells very inviting. So we're going to dive in. Cheers. Wow. I would love to try this fresh just to see. I, I understand the booziness just really blows you back. It is there. It's present, but it's smooth. And it's not blowing my hair back. I don't have enough there anyway. It is tasty as all get out. I'm going to get a few more sips on here. I admit I probably didn't let this warm up as much as I should, but there's plenty of flavor. I mean, it's a really pleasant taste. That sweet caramel and toffee flavors are on there are just wonderful, but they're very balanced. And you get that nice oak flavor. Again, though, very balanced, but very present. Just like you get some of the scotch on there, but very smooth, very balanced. I just need to emphasize balance. There's vanilla on there. You're getting the dark fruits on that. The raisins doesn't stand out as strong as in the aroma, but it's definitely some raisin. Still, you get some of that date, like I said, maybe a hint of plum, but more like the date and the raisin oh, and the toffee and the caramel. It's balanced more towards being a Scottish ale. And it, it, it really, to me, and I should say a wee heavy, when I say a Scotch ale, a wee heavy, um, it really is that type of a style. But it's just lovely. And there's, there's a really nice, a uh, light, like earthy mist to it, I would say. Um, I'm sure that's coming from the oak but this nice kind of earthy flavors. And the way it all blends together, there's a very light bitterness. I think that kind of smooths that out. And helps with, I'd love to know what hops they had, but helps kind of smooth out those flavors. This is a well-crafted beer. 
and uh, I'm going to be excited to see how it ages. I'm going to sip on this for a little while. I'll come back with my final thoughts. Here it is. This is the backwards bastard. I'm telling you, if you like Scotch ales, you know, wee heavies, this is one you need to try. One fantastic beer. I'm just loving this one. This is Kevin at Clement's Home Brew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I will see you in the next beer review.